Frank, is, is this lunar orbit mission too risky after only one manned Apollo flight? No, Jules. It, as I said before, if I, I, I can honestly say this. If I thought it was too risky, I don't know how the other two people feel, but I wouldn't be on board. At the time that we did it, I don't think we fully understood the significance of the very first flight to the moon. All right, you are go for TLI, all right? When you stop to think about the mission we were given. We choose to go to the moon. That was a remarkable challenge. I remember looking down through the grating and thinking, this is a big rocket. It's kind of eerie to go down to that big Saturn V on launch day. It's loaded with about five and a half million pounds of high explosive. Launch vehicle almost came alive. I only got scared twice in the flight, and the launch was one of them. One, zero. We have liftoff. Liftoff at 7.51 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. First flight on the Saturn V, first to leave the Earth, so there, you know, there really wasn't much to wring your hands about. I thought we had about one chance in three of having a successful mission. The greatest accomplishment was doing what the president had asked us to do within the time frame that he asked us to. What did it really mean, getting a, a true perspective where we were, three guys just 240,000 miles from the Earth? Something caught my eye out of my window, and I said, hey, look at that, and it turned out to be the Earth coming up over the stark lunar horizon. And I thought, you know, how insignificant we all are. Everybody I ever knew, five billion people could be behind my thumb as I put it up. I think it's ironic that we went all the way to the moon to explore the moon. What we really discovered was the Earth. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the Earth. And the Earth was without form and void, 